Hey everybody, welcome to another week here at the Tutorial As you can tell, we took out the bathroom, Caleb helped. We took the old bathtub, shower, the toilet and the old vanity to the landfill plus the drywall that was in here. And then we discovered, when we took out the old flooring, that they had a lot of holes underneath it. So we had to take out the whole floor to replace it. There was a lot of water damage and holes, so we made the decision of taking it out. And then, the, unfortunately, the wall was sitting on, on top of that floor that we had to take out. So the wall also had to go. So that's why you see a large hole again here in the floor that I'm standing on. We are starting a project that we wanted to do the last few months already and the reason why I'm starting on it today is because Caleb is here also helping me and we're gonna take the bathroom out up here uh, finally so we can finish the framing up here and all the layout in the second floor. That's right. The building's history like obviously it was grand when it was built and then at some point it got sold to somebody. Yeah. yeah.
gonna be nice. Oh, it's gonna be very nice. Honestly, you can never, you really can't tell it was a bathroom with the exception of like some of these. Well, we have to fix the floors. But otherwise, no. What? No, oh, like that. Yeah, I have to fix here, here, and where the pipes are. That's I'm taking off this closet. I want to leave wood flooring in the closet. More work in post. What software do you use? I use DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci? Who makes that? Uh, Black Magic. I've never heard of them. Uh, they only make production equipment. I uh, decided of taking out the entire framing that was already there is first of all there was a door here so we'd have to fix that anyways so we'll do it right here and then there will be a small little closet that the laundry room will use and then also we will still take out this framing main reason is I would have normally just left it and put the dorm frame where it needs to go but these are sitting on top of this floor and all of this floor is really in bad condition so I need to take out the floor to start over and do it right.
and I opened up the floor because there was lots of holes that the previous owners made for putting toilets, for different vanities and stuff. And we would not have been able to fix it all up. So we decided of just taking out the floor and really redoing it with all the leftover floors that we still have. That also brought us to that side over there where you guys are. We took out that wall over there too for that same reason. When the floor was there, it was basically the two by fours that were the wall, uh, wall studs were sitting on that floor. So we had to take it out. So one of the areas we have to fix is right over here where the door was. They had some water damage on this floor joists. So they already tried fixing them. They only put small little two by four pieces. I'm actually gonna fi uh, fix it a little better. I'm gonna sister two, two by tens on this side and on this side at least a few feet over. So it's a little bit more structural stable. And then I'm also gonna add another two by 10 from here to actually all the way to the end over there so that I can have some support for the floor that I'm restarting over on this side. Right above the finger that will go into the groove on the other side, there's a lot of junk in there. It's all dust from the last hundred years, obviously when the house was built and people are using uh, in the winter and summer, the floor contracts and dust starts to go into those cracks. So I gotta get all of that stuff out so that this just uh, these joints always close much tighter. So you might wonder why I put some OSB in the middle of the floor here in the section where actually the closet would be for Elias. 
actually this is going to be a little cutout that we're adding to the laundry room so there's going to be a wall right here that just cuts back over and it comes back over so just a little closet area because we want to be able to just put some of our hampers and stuff in the closet right away so it's out of the way and the laundry room is not that large so we figured we can steal a little bit of um, space from Elias's closet and it's still gonna be a gigantic closet for him why didn't I just lay um, the <clears throat> wood flooring continuously over here it's actually because I'm gonna tile on top of here uh, so the laundry room will all have tile and it makes it easier if it have, has OSB to tile not because I can't make it completely flat wood floors expand and contract and OSB is also a wood product but because it's a man-made product it is much more controllable of how it expands and contracts the amount that it does is in all directions the same instead of with wood boards where they, exp uh, they con uh, expand and contract more along the boards this way as in this so if you lay tile on top of something like this even though you might put a schluter system or something like that over it you might still have issues but with OSB it's much more stable and that's kind of the reason why I put this section of OSB because it's gonna be the tiling area and all our closets and bedrooms up here in this floor will have the wood flooring while all our bathrooms have OSB so we can tile on them. I think that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!